red drum tonight. This is what we've decided on. We'll see how it works. I'm vlogging. She's like, what are you doing? We'll come back. That's what you're gonna be in, aren't they? All right, well, let's get this thing going. Well, first and foremost, this video is brought to you by Edmunds Oast, something cold. Uh, they didn't actually pay me to say that, but I do enjoy their tasty beverages. So, cheers. We went to Red Drum tonight. I was looking for wings and shrimp primarily the shrimp but i kind of went off on the wings on the other video so whatever turns out red drum offers both now you wouldn't quite expect that from the restaurant in mount pleasant like that because it's a nice restaurant but but these were not your conventional wings these were duck wings which i've never had before didn't i thought duck breast was like the go-to thing and what you order and eat but this was uh bo's gonna make a guest appearance hey, bo, hey, bo. <laughs> yeah, bo. so uh but anyway these were duck wings and I have pictures of them, so I'm gonna post those together. I put it together. Caitlin's supposed to show me how to do some like cool video stuff with uh, uh, what is it? iMovie. iMovie. I don't know. I've never messed around with that. I'm not much of a videographer, so. Uh, but she's gonna show me how to do some of this stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, duck wings. How would you rate them? <sighs> one's up, one's down, medium. For me, I didn't enjoy the taste of the duck specifically, but I mean, they weren't terrible. Um, I think if you're open to different types of meat outside of your basic chicken, beef, you know, type of scenario, then... Um, they were definitely different. They were different. It was like if you had a wing with dark meat chicken. Is the best way that I can describe it. I think they were a little. Did you think they were a little gamey? I did. That was just me. I didn't. But I mean, I've had duck before, and duck does have a distinct taste. And these seemed a little more. The 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 taste was a little more. It was stronger, uh, in the in the wing and compared to the duck breast. So that was uh, that. I mean, it served six of them. I five and a half because Caitlin ate half of the one so it was pretty good I don't know if I'd get them again but it was definitely worth I mean you see it on the menu you're not gonna say no to duck wings I'm not because I'm into like weird stuff like that trying new and different things now on to the shrimp they did have shrimp I've already posted a picture of the size of the shrimp on the other Facebook post legit they were good their cocktail was a little bit different. It's not your normal, like, average cocktail sauce. They, they were doing something with it. I don't know what they added. It seemed very fresh, very bright. Like, they added some citrus to it. Uh, and maybe, like, some, like, Worcestershire or something. Um, Worcestershire? Worcester, Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Shechuan. <laughs> um, Worcestershire Worcester sauce. Worcestershire um, sauce. That, yeah. You, yeah um but yes that it was good i'm not saying it wasn't good don't get me wrong it was good it was different the room a lot though was excellent so if you like lightly fried shrimp like lucky oyster i mean i don't know a lot of our virginia friends will know lucky oyster so if you're looking for uh comparable shrimp 
These were top notch. These were out there as well. These were really These, good. Yeah. They were good. They were cooked like perfectly, in my opinion. The like batter didn't overpower the shrimp, and it all complemented the remoulade sauce really well. It had top a little notch. bit of spice to it, um, but creamy. It was good. Very it was good. really good. Very good. Overall, we enjoyed our trip. Oh, also, we had um, the salmon. The star of the salmon. show was the salmon. It was so good. It was the best salmon I've ever had Got at a picture restaurant. picture of that, too. We'll post that. And it had a green chili butter sauce that you put over top of it. And it was good. It was really good. I've never had green chili sauce with salmon before, but... I do like the way that they think outside the box of their food. Um, the variety that they had on the menu. I took a picture of their menu too. I'll post that. Um, service was great. Can't remember the name. It was on the receipt, but I think it was Danielle or something. Danielle, A plus. You did a great job. Her name was not Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> Danielle. Cheers. It was like Danielle. Brooke Thank or you. Bridget or I don't think it so. started with we'll, a B. I it took a picture of that too. We'll post that um, and we'll see. Brad is a great taste tester and I'm a great restaurant picker outer. Is that the uh, yeah, no? Yeah. I'm great at picking the place. Picker outer. Um word of the day. So this was my pick, Red Drum. It was not pick. pleasant. Credit there. Um, we were definitely underdressed for the occasion. Yeah, shout out to B. Cole. That uh, was a twin <laughs> twin bro B. Cole for the yeah. shirt. Um Brad's, Rick and Morty. Brad's this video is also brought to you by Rick and Brad's Morty. Brad's Rick and Morty shirt probably wasn't dinner appropriate, but um <laughs> still was all tasty nonetheless. If I had to do it over again, normally I don't wear shirts like this. But my he brother probably, bought me this shirt, so I'm like, hey, sorry, Billy. Cleaned out the closet today. Look at that. It's like, oh, heck yeah, man. Look at that shirt. I haven't wore that shirt. Billy, he probably hasn't worn this shirt since like January. But so. I was like, hey, what's up? I'm going to wear that today. I'm going to rock it out. We're rocking it at Target. I made Not Brad clean out places. the closet today. So he found some stuff he knew he didn't have. So, so yeah, guess what? Put it on. So Rick and Morty made probably an appearance not, at Red Drum tonight. Probably um, not the best apparel for Red Drum. It's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I was the only one with a t-shirt on in there. And I know I was the only one with a Rick and Morty t-shirt on. But, for all they knew, I was the director. Well. Writer. You are the uh, CEO. CFO. Yeah. Owner, operator. Yeah. I was different. Of a particular company, so. Just not anything to do with Rick and Morty, so. Which, I mean, you can't go without saying Monster Clean, Charleston, South Carolina, Top Notch Junk Removal Company. If you need any junk removal, I got you, guy. This is a food review, not a junk removal. Call it back. <laughs> got your boy. However, all jokes aside, Monster Clean, number one junk removal company, Charleston, South Carolina. Peace.